I'll get back at you. I think one of the most interesting developments around the candidacy of Barack Obama for the nomination of the Democratic Party uh, as, as a candidate for the U.S. president is the response that we're seeing coming from many Africans who are considered nationalist and pan-Africanist and some of whom are even involved in organizations that uh, consider themselves for pro-independence. Uh, they talk about achieving uh, an independent uh, state for African people here in the United States. And uh, what makes it really interesting is because they are really quibbling uh, on this question. On the one hand, we see on the internet, on one of the popular uh, listservs, uh, this ongoing discussion. I've seen actually uh, one indication from such a person that raises the possibility that, quote unquote, uh, race is no longer a, a main issue, a primary issue, a big issue in American political life uh, anymore, uh, as uh, evidenced by uh, Barack Obama's success. Uh, from others, uh, we've seen a serious kind of uh, quibbling uh, where folk are now raising uh, the issue of uh, actually criticizing U.S. imperialism and saying that it's a uh, terrible instrument of oppression and genocide, et cetera, and slavery and colonialism. And uh, they know what the system is about, and they know, they say, uh, that there's great likelihood that Obama can't do anything uh, different than what the system will allow on the one hand. But on the other hand, they talk about supporting him anyhow. They say uh, uh, simple-minded things like uh, because of his, what they characterize his Africaninity, or I saw one uh, person saying that they're going to vote for him because of the symbolism. And uh, in one discussion we saw, um, it was from uh, an, an African um, group based in the United States of, of Haitian-born uh, activists who were saying that they know that there's a great likelihood that he's going to be like a neo-colonial puppet that they see actually in Haiti. But the question they say is, what else is there? And I think this is the final, this is the, the real issue that most of these nationalists are confronted with. I mean, because it's almost as if though they're playing with politics. Either uh, they actually believe that African people uh, can have and should have uh, independence from uh, US imperial white power here and around the world. Either they do believe that the future of African people is, uh, is uh, as a united and liberated people and that they, they how fundamental it is for Africa itself to be free. Uh, either they believe that the U.S. government is an illegitimate uh, entity uh, that imposes its will at gunpoint on African people uh, here in this country and that it is the primary basis for all of the poverty, all of the injustices, for the nooses being hung, uh, for the police violence against our community. Either they believe these things or they don't. And if they believe these things, uh, then it seems to me that the question of what else is there is really an easy one to answer. What else is there is a struggle for our own power to replace this illegitimate power that, uh, that is represented by both the, the Republicans and the Democratic Party, regardless of whether it's uh, in the form of Hillary Clinton or McBain, um, uh, McCain or, 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 or Barack Obama. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. Both of these are illegitimate institutions, both of which share in controlling the colonial state power that's responsible for our oppression and the misery of our people as well as the misery of the peoples around the world. I think that it is a telling statement that uh, to have nationalists and so-called radical activists uh, in this place of where they are in a quandary as to whether or not it is legitimate somehow for them to be uh, supporting Barack Obama and not saying that they recognize, particularly at a time like this in such crisis, that Barack Obama is important to white power imperialism, to lead African people out of independent uh, political life and carry us into the safe embrace of an imperialist organization like the Democratic Party. So what we are suggesting is that we have to stop trying to find these quick and easy fixes to our problem and assume responsibility for our own liberation. This is not against Barack Obama as an individual or as a person. 
It is the fact that we as Africans, and especially those of us who have assumed responsibility to lead our people, must then uh, call on people to reject both the Democrat and the Republican Party and to join uh, revolutionary organizations with the objective of overturning the social system. I heard all of the arguments, yeah, that's going to happen down the line, but right now, that's what we usually hear. Right now, what we have to do is start. And every year, every four years, we go through this process of, oh, God, please let a good white man get elected now, let a good white woman or a good Negro get elected. But the consequences are the same. We don't have power over our own lives. And so what we call for in the African People's Socialist Party is for Africans everywhere to be organized, either in the African People's Socialist Party or the African Socialist International, so that we can make revolutionary transformation and seize power over our own lives. That way we have real power, we have nappy-headed power, we have big lip power, we have broad nose boom box on your shoulder power that belongs to us and doesn't make it necessary for us to kowtow or kiss the feet of any other force for fear that we might offend them when we speak into our own interests. We have to be able to fight for our own interests. Our people will not have a future unless we do. Join the African People's Socialist Party. Join the African Socialist International. Assume the responsibility of liberating and uniting Africa and African people worldwide. No compromise, no surrender. Sanjo, the so-called leader of Nigeria Giving crackers all the oil in our area When you look at all the poverty in Africa It's cause of scavengers eating the flesh Bleeding her to death Now she trapped in a shell gas station They take vacations with our petrol We living in the ghetto They tell you not to get chores Just be satisfied to sell dope I mean Kabila, the so-called president of Congo Uncle Tom's like him is why we all poor He letting thieves touch our motherland's contours We deal with them like the white folks he finds we getting bribed for more than a paycheck If we was free, we wouldn't even have to pay rent Be patient, how can I? Sit back and let my Africans die